Not a steak for someone who has a little bit of an appetite. You need to be ready to eat. Yeah. Because this is thick and it's USDA prime. Yes, this is prime. So let's talk about gravy. Please. What does that mean? Most steaks you'll find in the supermarket mm -hmm. or even at your butcher will be choice or choice select, which right. is below choice. So there's select, choice select, and choice. Then there's a lower quality. The very top, tippity top of the iceberg yeah. is prime. Prime is only five or six percent of all the cattle there is in the and world. And that's USDA prime. That's USDA. That's the that's a stamp of approval. These get inspected by guys in white coats, mm. and they have an incredible thir about thirteen percent fat content. So this is marbled steak. This is why it tastes so good because of the marbling. Marbling is the intermuscular fat in the cow. The more, the better. When you go to Wagyu, it's even more marbling. Now, this is dry aged for 30 days. Yes. So it's going to have optimum flavor. Bone yep. is in. Yes. So you're going to uh, benefit from that. And is it wet aged or dry aged? This is dry aged for 30 days, which means you age steak. What happens is the steak breaks down, the, the muscular and the tissue break down, and it gets more tender. And mm. that's why you age steak. This is the best of the best. You can't buy a steak any better than this. That's why it's prime 30 day aged. And this will easily feed two people, probably like. Two to three. Is this like an inch and three quarter inches? This uh, is uh, yes, inch and, inch and three quarter, quarter inches. It's, it's like eighteen to twenty ounces. Oh and my! Here's the great thing: for Easter, if you want to have a special cut of meat, this is it. And when this is ordered, the next day we cut it at three o'clock in the morning. This is not pre-cut. So this, this is, is very special. Cut and trimmed right yes. before it shipped out. Yes. Now. What's the best rule of thumb with uh, you? Should let us uh, sit, come to room temperature. Come to room temp. Season it heavily. It has to be seasoned. I say season with authority. Mm. Okay, because it's a lot of meat here. I put it in a pan here with some butter and a little bit of um, uh, rosemary, rosemary and garlic. garlic. I cook it and I add the rosemary and garlic at the end. Then I let it rest. Resting is almost as important as cooking. Because it, it, it increases in temperature, what, at 10 to 15 degrees? Yeah, you don't want to cut it while it's hot because all the juice comes out. So I like this 125 to 135 degrees. Mm. It rests about seven minutes. Do you season it right before you cook it? Right before I cook it. Right before and, I cook it. And uh, what do you usually season with? Salt. Just salt? Just salt. No pepper? No pepper. So oh. this is called an L bone because it has a bone. Uh, it's an a L an L shape. And what does that look like? It looks like an elf <laughs> And then what we do. There's also a little meat left on there, too. Beautiful. All that you can gnaw at that. I right? might need to. Okay, yep. and then just cut it straight down about eighth to quarter inch, and look how gorgeous that is. And you are uh, very insistent that you don't use a serrated knife. Never, you use a straight edge never, knife. never. I'm using one of my steak knives to actually cook, cut the steak. And that is such a beautiful cut of meat like that. It's just beautiful. And then a little sea salt right at the top, right before it goes to the table. And you're done. You don't need anything else but this. This These is really These are very beautiful. special steaks. They're USDA Prime. This is also one and three quarter inches thick, I believe. Is that right? Yep. Yes, one three quarter inches thick. 18 to 20 ounces each. This is something very, very special. Now, if you've got a big appetite, like me, I could eat one of those. If you are splitting that with another person, no problem, right? Because there's a lot of steak to yes, this. Yes, there is. The bone adds extra flavor, does it not? Well, that's the that's the second thing I wanted to talk about. I I, I like to present it like this with the bone. Oh, at with the, the bone. Yeah, at the table, and then there's always going to be some of that scrambling to eat that. You know, they're going to want. It's like having a rib. They want that rib piece. So what's great about the bone is it keeps the flavor in. Mm. It has a lot of structure. It's very easy to cook. And chef, I don't know if we can. Sh thank you for shooting down on this. We cut. You cut it out of the bone. Yes. Very but easy. You serve it with the bone. Yes. Just tucked up next Just like to this, it. just presentation wise, it's beautiful. And so when you bring that to the table, and you know, if you have two of these, you can serve, you know, four or five people easy. And just a little bit of flake sea salt across You the have top. to have flake sea salt at the very end. And I don't use pepper. Now, pe nothing wrong with pepper, but if you cook with pepper in a seared cast iron nonstick pan, right. it will burn. Oh, it'll get bitter, and you don't want to do bitter, that. And it'll yeah. be rancid, right? Yes. So it's important we're shipping this either now or for eight with no auto delivery. This is something very, very and, special. And we cut to order. Now, if you want it shipped now, I have only 440. If you want it for eight, fewer than 300. And these are trimmed and cut to order. They is are that cut right? to order the day they are ordered. It's amazing. So the butchers come in about 
three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so for this immediate ship, they're going to get busy tomorrow morning about three a.m. Yes, they are, and wow. this is something you'll never have prime. You'll never understand prime until you taste it. I want to be a part of the prime steak revolution. <laughs> I particularly want to be a part of this steak that is cut at three a.m. tomorrow morning. Yeah. Oh, and, how are you doing? And that? Oh, well, I'm not going to do it. I know, but still. It's, I mean, somebody's got to do it, and yeah. I'm going to be the beneficiary. Again, really now, important to take I the temperature. I love this rosemary. Now, do you believe in fresh herbs as opposed to dry herbs? I always try to use fresh herbs when I can. Yeah. Dry herbs are good for certain things. I think they're good for, like, a Greek salad or certain sauces, but in the most part, fresh is always thing. But this, again, is a very important tool. So you don't want to ever cut into your steak, right? Mm -hmm. You want to use a thermometer. This will make sure that the money you're spending today is not wasted. What temperature do you recommend that we go in? It depends on what you like it. So that's medium rare. So that would be 125. You take it off at 125. So it's in the pan. It goes to one, whatever that is. One, say it's 125. What is it right now? It's 120, 120 134. 130. That's, that's so a little it take, done. That's medium. You take it out. That's more my speed. Yeah, you take it out. Let it rest five minutes, and it'll go up to 135, 138. It, it goes, it continues to cook. It's called carry over cooking. Carry over carry cooking. Carry over cooking. And that's important. You know, this show is all about educating as much yes. as it is giving you the ingredients you need for a perfect dinner. Because what we want to do is help educate, and we thank you for all of your tips. I love doing this. Because this is so important. I try to do this on In the Kitchen with David with you when we have time. We don't always have time. Yeah, we don't have an hour always. This is great. Yeah, this is marvelous. So it gives you a chance to know. Let your steak come to room temperature. Season it before you cook it. What are your best um, uh, methods for cooking steak? I try to cook a steak all the time on top of the oven. I don't put steak in the oven. I don't bake it. I find that when you bake a steak, it takes on a tougher uh, uh, texture in the mouth, and I yeah. don't like it. So this steak, when it's room temperature and cooked on top, cast iron, grill with pan. a grill, whatever you have, it will probably take 12 minutes. Each side? No, 12 minutes in total, total when total. it's room temperature. When it's room temp. If it's not, it'll take a lot longer. Yeah, if it's and cold then, right from the right. fridge, it's but not going to be But you're going to see such a beautiful, so you see this uh, medium rare to medium rare, that, that, that complete beautiful all the way through, that's because it was room temperature. You can't do that with a cold steak, and that's the real beauty of How having How do you feel about grilling steak? I, you can grill steak. Here's the caveat I give you. If you watch steak grilled, you know that what happens, that fat now settles here. See all that fat? Mm -hmm. That to me is all the flavor. So you would maybe spoon that on top of the steak yes. before you serve it. When you grill it, guess where it goes? Into the grill grates. You got really good charcoal. Yeah, the Your charcoal, charcoal tastes, tastes great. great. <laughs> 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 but so I would always say, take this and put it on outside. Put it yeah. just put it on the on the grill. It's fine, right? And so that's how I like to do things. Now people want to cook it. They want to cook it on the grill. It's fine because they feel like I'm outside. I'm having fun. I have a beer and I'm having some fun outside. It's fine. Right. But I think when you cook steak, if you cook it inside, you're gonna like really like. You're gonna be shocked. I'm gonna have a piece too. Mm, you're gonna be shocked. Here, a little salt. Did I put some salt on? Well, mine had some salt on. Okay. Huh. Maybe a little more. Mm-hmm. What do you think there, sir? Well, right away. The mouthfeel is almost smoky. And it's juicy. It's juicy. The texture is off the chart, and it's so buttery and, and tender that, and this is a sirloin. Mm. Okay, because sirloin usually has a bit of a chew to it. This doesn't. Yeah, it's and, a different and cut. what I'm uh, seeing here on your notes, prime means 8 to 13% fat. Mm -hmm. So you need a, a little bit of fat in there to have it break down. Uh, it's a young, well-fed steer, and it's about 80% grain fed. I'm grain fed and grass fed. So a lot of this steer is from Iowa. It's a small farm. And it's grain fed, then grass finished. So the last part of the feed is grass or hay. Mm. And I'm telling you, when you taste that, you want to go back for another one. But it's very rich, so you don't need, you could eat that whole thing. Oh, easily. Mm. But you'd have to lay down for a couple of days. Yeah, I would probably have to take a nap. But um, hey, this is very popular. We are very busy. What I don't want you to do is wait because, oh, that looks Look delightful. At that. Now, if you want this shipped immediately, I have fewer than 400. If you want this shipped on 4.8, Fewer than 250 to go around. Right. These are flying out the door, and everybody is wanting to buy steak because it's USDA Prime. It's Prime, and you don't see this on, on a lot of places. Very few places choose Prime. It's mostly if you go to your butcher, mm -hmm. if you want Prime, they have to order it for you because it's right. so hard to do. I'm going to make my way to the dinner table because we oh, promised to I, bring you. I'm going. All of what you would need for the meal and this steak is your protein. We're you need some right help? here on the end. No, I think I'm okay. 
But that is beautiful. Look how beautiful show. that is. And we have this, uh, the cornbread scones yeah. down there. We have more to fill in the rest of the hour. 40 more hours. What do you say that we talk about the first product that you ever showed me at the Inspired Home Show in Chicago? The one slice mandolin. The mandolin. That you'll never ever cut yourself. You'll never cut yourself. Never ever. ever. The number two reason that people go to the emergency room. What's one? Bagel cutting. You're kidding. I thought it's it was the aluminum cutting. foil you thing. No, it's bagel cutting. You would think it's the aluminum foil. Bagel cutting? Yeah. Wow. You cut your hand when you cut I a bagel. I didn't know that, that many bagel lovers. Well, and the second uh, reason you visit the emergency room